It is that time of the year again. Time of rain, pumpkins, sweet treats and people viciously arguing over Joker. This time the Folie à deux edition. And though this time most people seem to agree on the verdict, which is, this movie kinda sucks, there's still some outliers. And that's great because what's better than a little movie discussion? Let's dive into it and see if the much ado is truly about nothing or if we have collectively lost our minds. We reunite with Arthur Fleck in prison and life is not easy. The constant quips from guards and prisoners, terrible conditions. Life improves only when, passing by a music therapy room, Arthur sees Lee, that is Lady Gaga's Harley Quinn. They instantly establish a connection, a mutual language of understanding and music. On paper, at least. The reality is that their meeting seems to be taken out of 2015 Tumblr page and it doesn't get better with time. It becomes clear quite quickly that Lee is in it for her own benefit rather than any actual feelings towards her idol, that is Joker. But the chemistry is not there, even from his side. I could understand a whirlwind romance that struck Arthur out of nowhere, but not only is he not convinced from the beginning, he also starts to doubt his beloved kinda quickly after his lawyer suggests it. So from a story point of view, we have two people that don't seem to like each other all that much, and one of them we don't even know, so it's hard to care about her. The second installment of The Joker clearly sets out to discuss the effect the public has on Arthur, how people pressure him to perform a character that's not really his true self, disregarding the mental torment he's in. But it's all just so empty. The acting itself is decent and one of the saving graces of the movie, but the courtroom proceedings suffer so much from terrible pacing. We spend so much precious time on meaningless shots that sure bring up the coolness meter, but do not matter at all, not to us and not to characters. And that makes the whole musical part simply unbearable. See, every song in this movie is performed either by Phoenix or Gaga or them both together. We do get bits of Brendan Gleeson singing as well as some other prisoners, but they are far from fully fledged musical numbers. Now, when words aren't enough, you sing. When singing is not enough, you sing and dance. Is a famous quote about musicals. Well, characters in Folie Adieu should probably not utter a single note then, because the depth of their connection seems to be that of a puddle. The strongest number is probably Phoenix's courtroom solo, more likely than other songs and providing finally some insight into both Arthur's feelings and the situation he's in. The other songs, however, are mostly there just to make us suffer. And by analyzing this predicament, we can notice the first big flaw of this movie. Why the fuck is it a musical? I like this idea, I really do, I love musicals. But in Joker, we are slapped in the face with a few songs that not only break the flow of the story, but are absolutely goddamn boring to sit through. I would love to do a whole analysis of why it's so bad, but it boils down to one thing. The music is not bringing any value. They are not entertaining, they do not further the plot, and they barely show us anything we don't already know. They are not a part of the narrative, just little breaks in the movie, so every time the singing starts, you just itch for them to shut up and get on with the point. But hey, maybe they are at least cool to look at? No luck here either. I have to give it to Todd Phillips for trying to make it fun with some extra sets and costumes, but it just looks so miserable. Half of the time we are still in the bleak and grey, realistic world, and even the imaginary sets look just very normal and unimaginative. For 120 million budgets, this looked so bleak. But we could have had it all. Imagine the creators crank it up to the max and actually care about the musical part with the glitz and camp and what role each song actually needs to fulfill in the movie. I can't imagine anything more suited to the genre than adaptation of a comic book, no matter how far removed from original it is. But wait, we got so many quotes from the director and fans alike saying how Arthur wasn't really the Joker, 
and how public wanted to see this broken man perform a character and how he suffered and how that's actually the point of the movie to expose the greed of the audience. And I really dislike those takes. You could justify any unsuccessful movie by saying how it's supposed to be like this. That's exactly the point. With that line of reasoning, we lose track of the accountability that all artists have. Because the truth of the matter is, Joker, Folly Ado is a movie with amazing concept and dog shit execution. By refusing to acknowledge that, we actually do more disservice to the idea behind the film. And don't get me wrong, it's not the worst movie I've seen. The acting, as I mentioned, ranges from good to great. It looks fine with the occasional amazing shot, 99% of which we've seen in the trailer already, so that's really cool. But it's so painfully, terribly mild. Not bad enough to be funny, not interesting or edgy, not moving, just nothing. The bravest thing about it is the fact that it's a musical, but even that goes away so quickly when you realize it's just two people singing a bunch of very loosely connected songs in front of some soundstage backgrounds. I don't like being this negative about movies, but I genuinely had a really, really, really bad time and I wanted this film to end. However, I am still happy it exists. First of all, people can enjoy things I personally dislike, so hey, give it a shot, maybe you'll be the one to like it. And secondly, every miss still requires you to take a shot, to try to gamble on the concept and the idea and try to make it happen. And that is never a bad thing. Sure, this time I hated pretty much every minute of it, but it doesn't mean it's gonna fail next time. Just please. Don't hire Lady Gaga if you're not going to make a good film out of it. Thank you so much for watching. I cannot wait for your comments. Let me know, do you like the Joker? Did you enjoy the musical bits? Maybe I'm in the wrong, who knows? And a brief announcement, if you've noticed that this channel uh, is a little bit more quieter, it is because I'm actually covering London Film Festival as press this year, so pretty much every waking moment of my day is spent in the cinema, but I expect to have many good reviews out of it, so let me know if there's something you're particularly interested in, in hearing about, and I will catch you next time. See ya!